Hi guys, welcome to installment four of my Saturday self-assessment. I want to apologize to everyone for being two weeks late. Um, two weeks ago, my best friend arrived and in all of the hubbub and cars breaking down and getting burnt to a tiny crisp, I was not able to take, do the recording. Um, but that's okay because it was kind of nice to be away from, you know, from everything else and be with my absolute best friend, you know, in the entire world. I love her to death. Ugh, everybody's got to have a best friend like that. Um, and last weekend, uh, my computer decided to do one of those six, seven hour mandatory updates. I don't know. So <laughs> I just, by, by the time it finished, it was, it was really late and I had pretty much just thrown in the towel and fell asleep. So here is the fourth installment. Um, let's see. <sighs> I'm a little bit stagnant right now in my weight. Um, I'm, as I'm sure you know, her, every, a lot of you people are aware that Hurricane Matthew broke through. And that caused a big ruckus with my job. Um, pretty much everybody's been working roughly about 11 to 13 hour shifts and it is exhausting it is it, it's it's tiring it's draining mentally you, you go in there knowing you have to help these people and especially your your co-workers who work down in Florida or South Carolina you have to make sure you're there to kind of take up the slack because they had to leave their home and they couldn't go to work so you're like oh well now I need to pick up the slack for these people and it's not in a bad way of course it's always in a really good way um, I'm more than happy to help but hoy, it's been taxing it has been draining and it's to the point where it's affected my sleep so that brings me to one of my points um, about my Saturday self-assessment just like every week I kind of talk to you guys a little bit and tell you about what I notice affects my weight loss and may affect yours too. Um, this time around, the concept is anxiety, stress, just overall mental health. It does affect your health. It does affect your weight loss. If you are not mentally healthy here, and that's, you know, that's not even saying just like, oh, you have a disorder. No. If you're stressed out, if you are, oh goodness, if you're just drained and, and feel tired all the time and just have no lack of desire, that does affect your weight loss because you're going to end up getting stuck in a place where you don't want to be. And that was kind of what's been going on with me for the last two weeks. This job and with Hurricane Matthew and everything else, it has literally taken me from here all the way down to here. And it's not anything that anybody can do. But I haven't had the time with all the hours I'm working to, to do my normal um, stress-relieving techniques. Music, puzzles, um, and one of my favorites is going to the gym and working out. You know, getting, you know, hitting the bag or, you know, lifting those weights. It, it's, it's amazing how stress relieving it is. So I'm kind of, I think, I guess I gained a little bit of weight. I'm back, back up at like a 163, which is fine. I mean, it, it's okay. I, I thoroughly expected it to happen. And I'm hope you know, I'm getting, I'm going to get it back down and I'm fixing things. I think one of my biggest hurdles is if I'm staying late at work to, to catch up on everything that's going on, I need to be able to make sure that I can get to the gym, eat dinner, you know, all that, all that stuff that's going on. So I think what I'm going to do is just go to bed a little earlier, wake up a little earlier and go in, and go to the gym. <gasps> oh, do not mean to yawn, but oh my goodness, this is how tired I am. Um, this is literally how I have been from not this past Monday, but the Monday before. I have literally been this tired all the time, and I feel it. And I am about ready to just relax and get 
all of it out of the way, everything, you know, taken care of. So, so here's my promise to you guys is I'm going to start trying to make sure that I'm taking care of my health. And that's not only my physical health, but my mental health, because I need to, um, I need to make sure that I'm healthy here because if I'm not, then it's not going to happen anywhere else. So hopefully things work out for me. Cross your fingers. Keep me in your, you know, in your thoughts, guys, because I really want to get back on track and be where I was, you know, mindset wise just a couple of weeks ago. So hopefully things work out. <laughs> so I think till, till then, this is the end of my fourth installment. Yay, four. Um, of my Saturday self-assessment, and I will see you guys next week, I promise. So until then, take care, everyone.